Let's have a look at teaching your first lesson with the Bluebot in your classroom. Now the Bluebot is an early coding or an early learning robot, so you're generally going to be using these lessons with kindergarten, year one or year two. So what I like to do is when I'm teaching my first lesson with the Bluebot is make sure I'm sitting on the floor with the students, I have all the students sitting around me in a circle, and I have this great mat that's provided in the Tablet Robotics Kit. I set my Bluebot down on the mat, and I talk to the students about the different components of the robot itself. I talk about the lights, the speakers, the arrows on top of its head, and the different positional language that they or you might use when you're talking about the robot itself. I then talk about building an algorithm, because the algorithm is the key word that we're going to be using with kindergarten year one and year two to be using their coding language. So in order to build an algorithm with our robot, we're gonna do this in two parts. First of all, we're gonna physically move the students through the algorithm, and then we're gonna build the algorithm with the cards themselves. So what I like to do is I like to set up the mat with a goal for the students to reach. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and printed out these cards that look like the Bluebot's arrows themselves and the buttons that you can find in the STEM T4L learning library. I'm gonna set up my goal in a very easy position for me to work through over here, just at the top, I'm gonna move my Bluebot in a position that we can get him to that goal. I'm gonna turn our Bluebot on so he's ready to move through our sequence. And now I'm gonna be talking to the students about how do you think we're going to get our Bluebot to that goal? Now, what I like to do is physically move myself or the students through the algorithm to reach that goal. So I get a student up to hold the robot and then as they move this robot to this position, I'm gonna get them to press their buttons as they're moving along. So the student would hold the robot and move forward one square. When he's moved forward one square, he can press the orange arrow on the top of his head. He then needs to turn to go to our goal. Now, generally the kindergarten year one students, what they'll do is they'll turn and move at the same time. This is actually a great conversation point to say the robot can only take one instruction at a time. He can't turn and move forward in one step. So what you actually need to do is first turn the robot. So I'll get the student to physically turn, press the right arrow key, and then move forward to our goal and press the forward button again. i would ask the student to then place the robot down, get ready and press the green go button on top of his head and watch our robot reach the goal. Success! The student has now reached the goal and he has reached this important button of the clear. Now this is a great point to talk to your students about. This is how we're now going to clear the code from our robot. I'm going to press the blue X and every instruction that he has built in is now gone. This is the point you then allow the students to go build their own challenges and algorithms. I'll send them off with a challenge card they need to get to, the mats if they're available, or set up my tables on the floor in a way that they can set a challenge themselves. They go off, turn on their blue bots in pairs or groups of three, take turns to reach that goal building the algorithm on top of their head, as well as moving themselves physically through the challenge to get to that point. Once you're confident the students have had a good play around with moving their physical body around the challenge, bring everyone back to the floor, sit them in a circle, and now we're gonna talk about building an algorithm with visual cards instead of just themselves. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab these other cards that I've printed and actually build the algorithm down on the mat that the students need to follow instead of themselves walking through that algorithm. So here, the first step we need to do is move forward in our algorithm. So I'm gonna place that card down on the mat, move the robot forward to where he needs to go to, and press that forward orange button. He then now needs to turn right, so I'm gonna grab a turn right card, place that down on my mat, turn the robot, and press the turn right button. And next he needs to move forward one last time, so let's grab another move forward button card, move the robot forward to our goal, Let's press that forward button. Now what I can do is I can pick him up, place him down in our starting position, press the green go button, and our blue bot should reach the goal. 
And he did, he reached our goal, he got to the X. So now I'm gonna press that blue X again to clear the code out of our robot. And I have now a physical algorithm built up on my mat that I can use to check the understanding of my students or the students can use to make sure they're guiding their robot to the right position. At this point, you would allow the students to move on to building their own, um, their own algorithms themselves to meet the challenge. You also need to make sure that you are well prepared for the lesson, having these cards printed out beforehand, laminate them if you would like to, make sure you have your room set up so you've got these mats that they can set these challenge cards up to. And from that point forward, you can gauge their understanding to see if you need to repeat that lesson or move forward again to greater and grander challenges with awesome maps or the iPad app itself to challenge the students further using the Bluebot robot. Once they have that good understanding built with the algorithm use and using the, blue, the Bluebot itself, this is a great time to start integrating those curriculum areas in storytelling and English, using it in the maths and reading groups in your early learning classes, and really taking advantage of this Bluebot as a learning device in your class. So make sure you have fun teaching your students how to use the Bluebot. Thank you. This video is part of a series of support videos all about the kit that you have borrowed. To find the other videos in this series, head to the Learning Library and visit the kit page for the equipment you've borrowed. You can also find the full list of support videos for all of our kit on the YouTube channel. You can also join us in the Yammer community. If you have any questions or you'd like to ask teachers how they've used the equipment in their classroom, then why not join us on the STEM T4L Facebook community? It's a closed group. You can ask teachers how they've used the equipment and also share the work samples that your students have created. 